This thing's uh, rolling. Yep. Proudly sponsored by Pop Tarts. What's cracking, guys? Omar Esau here, back with another video. Joined once again by the one, the only, Eric Helms. How you doing, my man? I'm well. How are you? I, I'm okay. I'll, I'll be better after we make this food. Okay. I'm I'm glad I'm here with you. Uh, got a PhD in just aesthetics, as, as I understand it. Is that correct? The PhD. MD. MD. I don't feel comfortable <laughs> anymore. <laughs> and so, some of you guys might Which know Which is this. dieting. Oh, I dieting. I don't know why you were so uncomfortable with that. I don't want to diet. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, I'm not. But it's such is the time. Now is the time where I announced this before. You're going to be my coach when it's time for me to actually get lean. Um, not even be just YouTube lean. I want to be so lean, Eric. I hate my life. And so... Do you want the real bodybuilding experience? I want the bodybuilding. Why do I bodybuild competitively <laughs> yeah. experience? Yes. We could do that. And so to start that, I thought it'd be fun. A lot of people request, hey, do like cooking or do a full day of eating. And so this is going to be a fun segment where we're going to show you uh, a, a, an example of a cutting meal. Eric's going to spit some knowledge when it comes to what we're making today. Kind of like the macros, maybe organizing some uh, cutting information, but it's going to be loose and formal. If you like this style right here, uh, you're about to see make sure to like the video and leave a comment below what you want to see us cook next But uh, today, what are we going with for our cutting meal? You know the if it fits your macros community is kind of all about seeing what you can fit into your diet Yeah, but that should really just be a small part like right. 10 20 percent when you're trying to diet and like you said It gets quite hard you want to base that off like single item ingredient foods things that have a decent amount of fiber decent amount of volume Yeah, you get a lot of bang for your budget if you will. Yeah, so we've got a traditional bro meal today I love it. We have catfish. Mm -hmm. We have salmon. Mm -hmm. We have broccoli. Yeah. We have sweet potatoes. There we go. That's the trifecta right there, mm -hmm. bro. That's right. Fish, a broccoli, so we're loading up on the micronutrients. Yep. And then some sweet potato, because you gotta have the sweet potato. We don't have tilapia though, we're not gonna thin the skin. Well, that's later in prep. We'll okay. have, you know, fish right. and a rice cake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At each meal. Yeah, you know you're a bodybuilder when you start eating rice cakes. So Absolutely. That's a sign. Yeah. Now, this doesn't count as part of our cutting meal. Yeah, these, I don't think the calories count. No, uh, ethanol has zero calories, as I understand. I think it actually burns more calories than it is. It's yeah. kind of like celery. <laughs> None of that's true. <laughs> Disclaimer, yeah. everything I just said was false. Yeah. yeah. But what I was going to say is these are, uh, uh, Eric, uh, cider. And as we know from our paleo ancestry, cider is superior. And Correct. cider is not only zero calorie, you lose weight drinking it. Absolutely. None of that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to say here's to us. Here's to what we're about to make. They're about to see how good of a chef or how, how good of a... Uh, uh, you want, you want, you could, you'll do. Cooking duo we are. What do you think? I think we're good at eating food. Nah, I think we're good at eating food. Yeah. Making food, we're gonna see. To us. To you. <laughs> That's actually really nice, but hold on, Eric. Um, <clears throat> can't do the video without, you know, doing well, the what, What's what? this? <laughs> well, you gotta go, you gotta go with your pre-workout um, when you work out, but also pre-cooking. So I'm just gonna use, uh, you know, maybe a one-eighth scoop of Ouroboros pre-workout has citrulline malate. Probably look a little bit more vascular while cooking, you know. So citrulline malate, that's an evidence-based ingredient. Does it also have creatine, caffeine, and beta alanine? Yes, sir. Oh my god. Wow. That's a really good ingredient profile. Oh, wow. So, so <laughs> crazy. Yeah, what I heard is, uh... The citrulline malate kind of helps with vascularity when holding a pan, and the caffeine mm. helps with just mental focus. So I'm here, I'm in it to win it. Yeah, and you know, the creatine is also good if you are a uh, semi-vegetarian, mm -hmm. uh, you know, because that actually has neurological beneficial effects. That is true, by the way. Mm. Um, and it's totally irrelevant what we're talking about, but yeah. Look at this, bro. <laughs> That's, this might have been a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Science applied. Look, it's still go. It was like a one eighth of a scoop though, and I already drank like probably. So we've learned something today. <laughs> we've learned that if you want to do the volcano science experiment, all you need is Arboros and cider. So you're, you're the sous chef. Yeah, man. You so tell me. You have to do the menial bullshit. Yes. All right. I want you to poke holes. Yep. In all of the sweet potatoes with that fork. Yep. And I would like you to cut the broccoli into uh, florets primarily. Yep. So you can cut off kind of the base of it. Uh, it needs to be able to fit into a Tupperware, and then we're gonna have a very small film of water in it. So we're gonna steam them in the microwave. Got it. Uh, and we'll do the sweet potatoes in the microwave as well. We just need to find something to cover them. Yep. And uh, then we can get to grilling our meat. So we're gonna go one sweet potato each because we don't want to get too fat. Correct. Did we? Are we about to eat animals that have whiskers? Uh, Catfish, bro. Catfish do, yeah, they are a little whiskery, aren't they? I don't, I don't feel, I don't feel comfortable anymore. I'm eating Mr. Whiskers. You can have the salmon. 
This uh, is for practical people mm -hmm. that want cutting meals. Yep, because yeah. let's be honest, most men in their 20s just don't know how to use yeah. things that aren't microwaves. That's true, that's true. We're gonna struggle even with the microwave. We uh, <clears throat> we know this kitchen like the back. Yes, yeah. clearly here are the plates. Yeah, <laughs> this is the place. I mean, I live here, this is just my, I don't want to call it my mansion, but it's a, uh, but it's your mansion. It's a mansion. It's a mansion. So we'll uh, throw these in for, say about 10 minutes. Yeah. We'll check them. Yeah, flip the side probably. Or... Flip it. You can always just put a fork in there to see if they, uh, it moves in smoothly. Yep. We'll go from there. They're actually dropping Hold chips. Hold up. Microwave cam. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I probably, uh, Eric, is there a thicker one? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> She said, get the fuck out of the bedroom. That's perfect. Hold on, I'm gonna like it. So... Yeah, it's like you, you interned at a, uh, a restaurant, restaurant downtown. Uh, yeah, you know, I uh, jack many trades, you know. Don't wanna brag about it, but right. I've been told I'm slightly better than McDonald's. But not the dollar menu, that, right, that right, thing's right, right. amazing. Can I all fit in there? Uh, yeah, probably, honestly. Jam cool. it in. Thank this you. is a PG cooking show. I'm sorry. We're trying to sell this device. What are you trying to do here, bro? I'm sorry. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. I'm sorry. I don't feel comfortable. Is it gonna be demonetized now? I mean, it was demonetized as soon as Eric said he has a PhD in D, you know? Uh, like that's it's, it's dieting. It's I don't dieting. Know why. <laughs> you're, just, you're just using hip hop lingo. Well, to be honest, I was a little insincere. Yeah. That's actually my master's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. PhDs in what? A PhD is in auto regulation. It's more on the training side. Ah. Uh, I basically finagled it so I could get a master's in bodybuilding and a PhD in powerlifting. Ooh. So. It's the equivalent of uh, two semesters at a junior college of biology, so in terms of difficulty, so. You think that's enough water, or do we want to like just fill it up to the brim? We're steaming it, we're not boiling yeah. it. Well, duh. So, uh, obviously for cutting, I noticed, uh, you know, we're making kind of a bro meal, but like the emphasis on micronutrients is important when you have limited calories, right? Yeah, actually there's a fair amount of research where you look at people when they're dieting, and they're much more likely to have micronutrient deficiencies. Okay. You know, the funny thing is um, bodybuilders have traditionally eaten very micronutrient dense meals, mm -hmm. but they've done so by eliminating what they see as bad foods. You know, right. if you think your typical contest prep diet, it's like a list of eight foods. Yes. The magic you know, seven, as they say. Right, and they think, all oh, these are all very micronutrient dense foods, but the variety is so low, there's actually predictable micronutrient deficiencies that you can see when you look at surveys of bodybuilders. Really? So in their attempt to be healthier, yeah. they're actually deficient in a lot of, a lot yeah. of micronutrients. So this is, Shouldn't be every meal. This no. is an example of one meal. Yeah, a meal. Exactly. Yeah. So you want to, as your teach, teacher said in, in, in your high school nutrition or health class, eat your colors. Yeah. You know, spread it around for, for fruits and vegetables. Now, uh, Eric, here's a question, bro, because uh, we're cutting. How many weeks out are we? With this meal? Yeah. Well, these are still here. Yeah. No, no, this isn't actually that much. This, yeah. this could be a meal that would be in an earlier stage of prep or later. It really depends right. on your individual. There's yeah, no like one diet. What I'm trying one. to say is how many like weeks How many out. weeks out are you? Yeah. Do you want to talk about how many months out uh, you are? Am I, I'm about like four weeks and one year out. What are we? I would say you are four weeks out from starting a six month prep. Nice. Exactly. Yeah. Sir Eric, yes. uh, when you say eat all your colors, does that include all the Skittles? Oh yeah. Skittles are by far the most micronutrient dense because they are colorful. Crucial for intro workout. Yeah, and I think it's still important to switch it up though. You might want to go M&M's. Mm -hmm. Starburst? Starburst, definitely. Excellent, you know? thank you, thank yep. you. That was thank you. Yeah. Some more fiber in M&M's though. Proceed, thank you. <laughs> None of that's true. <laughs> yeah. Olive oil, mm. healthy mm. fat, mm. which is actually a very simple, a highly simplification. You can have a good range of fats in your diet. You don't need to only eat like avocados and olive oil and like, you know, most fats are good, eh? What is probably the most like bodybuilding meal you've ever had? Or like situation where like you're just like, it's like 5.30, you don't have like, you need to eat your macros you haven't eaten, and you just go to like a drugstore, buy some like rice cakes and like whatever. Are you ready to hear how real the struggle was when I started? I'm ready. Okay. Now this is gonna disgust most of your, your followers. Uh, so back in 2006, mm -hmm. I was a personal trainer at the YMCA, yeah. and I would get up around 5.30 a.m., train my first client at 6 a.m., and I would have a protein shake. Yeah. And I also had one of those ridiculous horse pill multi-pack bodybuilder vitamins that effectively were only useful for turning your urine like bright yellow. Right, yeah. And giving you overdoses of most micronutrients. <laughs> uh, and if I took that on an empty stomach, I would throw up very predictably because it was just too much. Yeah. So I had to always be careful. I'm like stumbling around, it's 5.30 a.m. to have my shake first and then the multivitamin. 
Yeah. So I made the mistake of taking the multivitamin first, I'm making my shake and I start to feel the rumbling and I realize, oh shit. It's about to go down. So I'm not gonna waste the shake though. Yeah. So I slam the shake and I eat an apple and I go, okay, oh, that no, should be good. No, 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 no. And the rumbling continues. Yeah. So you're thinking, oh man, you gotta have another apple, another shake. I'm not wasting the gains. And this is a true story, I oh, swear to God. Oh, no. So I get a bowl and I wait and I yak in that bowl. And then you drink it. And then I drank it right back. So that is how real the struggle was. That's bodybuilding. 12 years ago <laughs> when I was absolutely insane. Wow. Before 3D Muscle Journey saved my life. <laughs> Pretty much. I like Sick, to, bro. I like to talk to you. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Let's check out this. Uh, this you, is that going to be okay? Yeah. You're brave. Oh my God, he's brave. Still touch the bottom. It'll be all right. Oh, that one actually. This one's yeah, the tiny guy's almost. Yeah, this one definitely needs more. This guy is almost Ooh. there, but not quite. We'll probably go like another five minutes. Yeah. And this one will probably come out. Yep. And then we'll have to go probably another five on. Sure. The big honking. By the way, this one's mine. Oh. I mean, because I'm four weeks and one year out. Well, we got to get you to the point where you're ready. Yeah. And that, I'm ready to start prepping. You're, you're ready to start prepping a pre prep period. Yeah. Yeah. Before There's a preparatory prep. phase for the prep. Exactly. Got it. Okay. Pre preparatory <laughs> phase prep start. Yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. I'm in it. For our uh, flavor agents, like, are there any like low calorie uh, condiments or things that you tend to use? The salmon's already kind of already yeah. marinated. Uh, so but for you, yeah, you, you like so you you can use all. Well, beauty, beauty of it, it's sweet potatoes are tasty. essentially come with their own flavor. Yeah. Um, and the stuff they put on our, our salmon and our catfish looks like just a rub. Yeah. So the, the rubs are a great way to go versus sauces and marinades um, because the sauces and marinades probably are going to have calories in them and the yeah. rubs are going to be next to nothing. Yeah. Uh, it's also important to consider the, the sodium intake. Like when no, people so diet, really sometimes they, they think they need to cut sodium out and you absolutely do not want to do that. Typically what happens is when you start to cut calories, uh, you're going to lose some of your um, your electrolytes from having lower sodium, this is a function of that. So it's not a bad idea just to salt your food a little bit so your sodium doesn't get too low. A uh, big part of why people always experience being lightheaded when they diet is because that, that, that goes down as well. It's not purely a function of just the diet effects. So those are there too, but keeping your sodium intake high is a good way to prevent that. Go ahead. Uh, do you guys want to add salt to the broccoli? Why? No. Oh, the, oh, for the sodium, you're saying? Why? No, I just taste. explained why. Yeah. I, well, I'll do it after. Or you want to do it? Uh, we'll probably salt it. You once, wouldn't once. salt it before steaming it? I don't think that's necessary. Okay. I mean, you, you can. Uh, hey, back up, bro. All right. Yeah. Sorry. We're cooking here. We're probably losing cooking points right now. Uh, uh, hey. Why would you do that? Everyone's like, you're going to have all these explanations of why you should do that. Yeah. I think I heard something. Did you hear the microwave finish? I heard gains are coming. We're right. going to have to check our sweet potatoes. Breaking bark face! Yep, it's good to touch on the edges. You... Here we go. Oh, look at that, actually. Look at the, uh... We got a little bit of that little bit of juice. So that wow. one's perfect. That's perfect. That one's good to go. This guy, like I said, probably gonna need another five minutes on yep. its own. Let's get a... Uh, a plato? Yeah. Which is probably not the way you say plate in any language. It's in our language. The language of love, though. Cool. Your hands are sensitive, so I'll do it. My heart's sensitive, bro, and then it just comes... Everything is everything there. is sensitive. <laughs> there you go. You can, you uh huh. Yeah, that's, that's how you do. I'm working my angles. Pro tip: spray the actual uh, fish so you save calories. Hey, uh, Alice, I don't appreciate that. I'm sorry. Do you think vent or nah? I think it'll be okay. Yeah. It's, not, it's not that smoking. But yeah. safety tip for you kids at home, yeah. always use the vents. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. Yeah, I actually, uh, this is a funny story. I, uh, when I first moved to Windsor and uh, I was living with my aunt, she was out. I want to start gaining weight, and so I was cooking a lot of food, first time really cooking, and uh, I didn't know how to turn on her vent because it wasn't a, like an easy, oh, turn on the vent here, and there was no button. But I'm still like, yo, I just worked out. I need my like, you know, my anabolic window shrinking. Mm. And so I cooked just like two pounds of beef on here and had another pan going. The whole apartment just steaming and then the alarm goes off. I don't know how to disable it. A fire truck came. Wow. Yeah, yeah. and then my after fire, it's like, I heard, like she heard from the neighbors, like a fire uh, truck came or what happened? I'm like, you know, just um, uh, didn't know the vent was working, it like malfunction or something. Yeah.
Just another day is Omar Issa. Mm. Uh, so tell me this, uh, Eric, why do people tend to gravitate? Like, why do you think there are seven foods that bodybuilders have gravitated towards over time? Like, you kind of have the rice, you have the tilapia or like a fish, you have uh, like broccoli. Like, why are these things, why do you think they've become the go-tos? Well, I think, you know, when there was the big split in the bodybuilding community between the kind of, if it, if it fits your macros, a little more evidence-based and versus more traditional. Yeah. Unfortunately, they became these like two competing philosophies. Yeah. And so they, they started warring and they didn't learn anything from each other. So while it is true that you don't have to eat a specific, very restrictive diet, yeah. there is some benefits to that. And that you don't have to think as much. Mm -hmm. Like if you if you spend a great way to see if you're really getting diet fatigue and if you're really getting crazy from prep is it when you see your meal time, your meal prep time increasing over the course of prep. Yeah. Like you start with yeah, I just you know throw some things together. It's all good. Run out the door. Next thing you know, you've got this like calorie budget macro show that, yeah. that your you know your social media has changed to. You're probably getting a little hungry. Yeah. So I think what people forget is that yes, calorie balance is what's going to dictate your changes in fat mass, and it's the the you know mechanistic reason why we have obesity, but the behavior behind it is gonna be based on what is more satiating. Sure. So sticking to these single item food ingredients that are low calories for a decent budget of micronutrients yeah. and you know high value nutrients for bodybuilders like you know healthy fats, protein, uh, enough carbohydrates is a great way just to not feel as beat up on a diet. No. So they found, hey, this works. This results in a lower calorie count. Yeah. It allows me to stick to this diet for longer and I get shredded. Uh, so, you know, the thing they missed out on is, hey, maybe these macro guys can be a little more precise. Yeah. Because the typical approach back in the day was just, okay, I'm going to reduce my portion sizes of all my carbohydrate and fat foods. Yes. But they forget that, you know, there's protein in that too. So if you followed a traditional prep, your protein might drop from say 200 to 175 as you cut carbs and fat. Mm -hmm. A macro counter can actually targetedly remove that and increase the portion of the pro protein yeah. to keep that around 200. So the blended approach is best. Really, where you can get these micronutrient dense foods, feel more satiated, but also count the macros so you can be more targeted with your nutrition. Wow, look at that. Ooh. Nailed it right when it starts. All right. Tested the hypothesis. Success. Actually, what we could do. Excellent job. 500. Zero, zero. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you get to start like a pro. I just, uh, I, I try to brace from here, the core. Yeah. Extend out, mm -hmm. make sure I don't elevate the scapula. Right. Right? It's a good scapula yeah. control, core mm. bracing. Yeah. Yeah. Control. Movement. I never stop lifting, you know? Mm. I mean, mentally, I might be checked out, even though I haven't begun my prep. But physically, I'm right here. See, mentally, I'm always lifting. Yeah. But physically, <laughs> I'm always lifting. Oh, okay. That, this the take home it. is that I'm always lifting. I'm always lifting. Can't wait to watch you guys eat. I was actually really excited. Can't wait to watch you guys eat. What? 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 Can I like order Subway or something? Oh no, uh, else, um, no. No, you're gonna get shredded. Oh. So we're actually prepping you. Sick. So yeah. This, for you, this yeah. is a lesson in intermittent fasting. Yeah. Oh. So that's actually the best way to diet in all circumstances for everyone in every single case. <laughs> oh. So you were actually doing suboptimal things by not fasting. No. Right. Yep. My window is yeah. typically, what's short? Mine's like 72, 96 maybe hours. I don't eat and then I'm still like extending my I haven't eaten yet in a few years. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. Not yeah. ready yet. Still got Not ready yet. Still, yeah. still, still got to go. So Alice, you've been filming us for a little while. Yeah. You've got another 3 or 4 days before you get to eat. You're good yeah. with that? Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Excellent. I Thank believe you. in you, bro. None of that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's a really nice shirt you got there, Eric. What'd oh, shit, yeah. Oh, shit. Well, as you can see here, this is a wonderfully ironic shirt about bodybuilding culture. Brandon Wells is an excellent designer of shirts. You should definitely check this out. Link is in the description. Whoa, where, that's a nice shirt you got there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this one sucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> nah, nah, I, I want to promote it if I was you. Wow, we're just two really jacked bodybuilders that are cutting, and if only we had food for us to eat. I would love to eat right now. Tilapia would be nice. Or salmon. Salmon. Wow. Look at this food right here. Oh. This looks like two professional chefs. Can we try that one more time? <laughs> no, the, the, the shittier it is, the better it is. That's the point you don't get. <laughs> Shit is good. This is YouTube. The shittier it is, the better it is. All right, now I'm dead. Relatable. Amen. Hey.
Eric, so we made this. This took probably about 15, 20 minutes. We're taking our time. Of love. Yeah, of love and dedication. Now, just before we dive into this, because you're the macro master, what do you think we got here, roughly? 30-ish eh, grams of protein here. Mm -hmm. Probably about 10 grams of fat. Really no extra fat in the rest of this. Maybe from the spray, you could say like one more gram. So we got like 11 grams of fat. These are large-ish sweet potatoes. So it's maybe like 30, 35 grams of carbohydrates. Yep. To, to safely be conservative, we had another five there. A little bit of protein in this, so I could say we could roughly say like 11 fat, maybe 40 grams of carbs, about 30, 35 grams of protein. You <laughs> get shredded, bro. So shredded. Yeah, well, let's try this out and just see how we did. Why don't you start? Oh, wow, okay, this is... How long does it take for food poisoning to so... Instantaneous. Good. <laughs> No, it's really good. Is it? No, it's, the seasoning is really good. I'm excited. No. The part we didn't do is really good. <laughs> <laughs> the part that we just bought, absolutely. <laughs> well, we are actually gonna eat this food now, guys. I wanna thank you for watching this because for a long time, a lot of people have been saying, you know, I wanna see what you eat. I wanna see your watch collection. Whip out your wiener. I can't do some of those things, but what I can do is show some cooking and have someone that is supremely knowledgeable when it comes to nutrition. Make it kind of loose and formal. You learned something today. I learned something today about sodium and cutting, right? Yeah, this is actually the first time I've ever cooked food. In your life. Period. You killed it. Yeah. I'm so proud. It's really hard to be a bodybuilder just hanging out, but <laughs> yeah. I might keep doing this. You might keep doing this. This will be sure how easy it is. Well, guys, if you liked the video, you enjoyed this stuff, and stuff, huh, I learned something today. Make sure to like the damn video. Look at me. Give it 5,000 likes. We'll do another one. Make sure also to check out Eric Helms, all his resources. Everything will be linked in the description, his social media, his YouTube channel. And when, uh, I don't wanna say flex shows, what do we call them? We call them flex shows. Oh, sorry, everything will be linked in the description. Yeah. Eric, thank you so much for being on. My pleasure, thank you for having me. Yeah, and I guess we'll see all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace. Eat your vegetables, eat your vegetables, eat your fucking vegetables.